Hey everybody. Okay, so in the last video we talked a little bit more about some rights and a little bit of a brush up about what I talked about in the last last video about John Locke. And we also talked a little bit about social contracts and giving your consent. Again, I want to brush up a little bit about giving consent because I realized that although I told you how you could give your consent by either doing it implicitly or explicitly, I didn't really make it clear of how exactly do you give consent implicitly or explicitly. Basically, what it means to give your consent is to show your support. For example, showing up to class or work every day is a sign of implicit consent. Giving explicit consent would mean that you would have to physically be agreeing to something, like signing a syllabus for class at the beginning of every school year. You can withdraw your consent by showing and stating to others that you don't want to follow their rules. So basically, you just do the opposite of what I'd listed. Now we move on to our actual lesson of the day. And if you already couldn't tell what I'm talking about in this video, you can either look up or I'm going to tell you right now, and that is I'm going to be talking to you about constitutions. By definition, a constitution is a set of customs, rules, and basics needed for a government to operate and is to be the foundation of a government. Some countries have an official written document and some don't. For example, America obviously has the constitution which, if you can't tell by the title, is a constitution. And there are some countries who don't have a written official constitution, such as Great Britain. They have a collection of documents that kind of make up a constitution, such as the Magna Carta. Having a constitution usually means that you have a limited government, which means that there are still restraints on the power of anybody and of those in charge. The opposite of this is called an unlimited government, which isn't exactly an anarchy, but it means that even though there is a government, the government is allowed to exercise their power any way they want. Examples of this is dictatorship, tyranny, totalitarianism, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, but that's okay, and autocracy. Just because that every country has a constitution doesn't always mean that the country actually follows it. For example, North Korea even has a constitution but I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't really be following that as closely and putting that at higher law, which means that not even the government can violate what's said in the Constitution. And that is called a constitutional government. And that's what I'm going to tell you all about today about the Constitution. My name is Marissa, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye!